What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you know, well, I'm Andre and I love my sim racing content. And we've been doing lots of that, that sim racing content. We've been doing a lot of live streams. Well, not consistently, but we, we, we've been pretty good at it. Now, our league is done and I thought, you know what? I think it's time to dive into something a little bit different. I really wanted to get something uh, just to enjoy a couch game that I can kind of just sit down, not move the sim rig, not set that up, and just enjoy this with you guys on a more of a casual level that's connected here a little bit. I never played Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2. I didn't play a lot of GTA. I played, I love Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed style games. So, you know, I want to get into this and I'm not sure this is going to be a series, if this is going to be a let's play or what. I'm not sure if these are going to be 20 minute videos, 30, 40, an hour, two hours. No idea or when they're going to be even released. You know, this is kind of like, let's just uh, where's my controller? Uh, let's just let's just get this started. Uh, I don't want to commit to this. There we go. And I was like, you know what? Let's why don't we just dive into this and explore the world? Let's do the story. Let's be an outlaw. I have no idea. What are we gonna do? Let's just enjoy this. Let's have fun. Let's connect. I want to do something a little bit different and just not just in racing stuff. And I think it's time to. Expand my horizons? Is that, is that how people say it, I guess? <laughs> I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, just just a couch game. So, if you do have any other recommendations uh, that I should be playing on here, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give, to give them a shot. There are a few survival games I've been curious about trying, but I'm not too sure. So, by 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Dot dot dot. Oh shit. Even the West had mostly been tamed. I guess, yeah, the outlaws are mostly all from the West, from my understanding. A few gangs still reamed, roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Are we hunting down the gangs in Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes, no, maybe so. Rockstar Games presents Grand Theft Auto 5 and 4. <laughs> you know what, actually, I, I kind of miss Grand Theft Auto 4. Like, GTA 5 was good, the story was great. It was a very vibrant game. Uh, I did like GTA 4 and The Ballad of Gay Tony and, and uh, Nico Bellic and all the whole storyline. Just, it had maybe a bit better story than GTA 5 but I'm not too sure well let's let's see how this goes I'm really curious I'm not that great with an Xbox controller either that's what I'm playing on right now uh, Xbox Abigail one says he's dying Dutch we'll have to stop someplace but it's cold okay Arthur's out looking I sent him up ahead uh. We don't stop soon. We'll all be dying. It reminds you of Oregon made. Trail. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur. Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. I'm assuming I'm Arthur. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm I'm jumping in blind. I don't think I've ever watched any YouTube videos of Red Dead Redemption 2 or 1. I've never played any of the games. I've seen the odd meme here and there uh, on TikTok about it, but nothing nothing significant. Chapter 1, Coulter. And I love my story mode games. There's something about story mode games like Battlefield 1 story mode, Battlefield 2 campaign. Maybe we'll play some of those as well. We'll play those story mode games. Bring them in here! But yeah, throw me your suggestions so your suggestions and I'll definitely have a look into it. I don't I I definitely want to try new things here, so we'll see.
game models are very similar to GTA 5. Get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. That hair, though. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. Miss? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had... Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. Pretty good speech. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! I... We need you strong. Okay. Hold A to match the speed, okay. Come on, let's go! Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. Man, the snow looks great. That's the one thing I miss, but... GTA if I'd never had good implementation of snow. This is awesome. Damn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Not if, if uh, you're in Canada. Yeah. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Okay, so right button's just sit on the horse. Okay. Right trigger does nothing. Right next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Uh, what's up the path? Love the flowing cutscenes here. Who's there?
Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Run, horsey, run. I'm glad you're alright, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. All right, what are we okay. doing here? Let's head down there. Little trail passes that the horses make through the snow. It looks awesome. Health is displayed in the lower left corner. Okay. Alright. Let's hitch up here. Horses taking a sweet time. Hold Y to hitch the house. Hitch the horse, not hitch the house. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than. Three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Okay. disturb you uh my friends and i well we got into some trouble up the way lost in the storm ah gentlemen we can't help you mister i got folks our 
Arthur. Arthur, we got a problem. Folks, <laughs> there's a corpse right here. Now I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Yeah, revolver. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. It's goddamn. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's an Where is the area of this way? That's what you get. Where's Dutch? That's my boy, Arthur. Good shooting. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Beef, what else we got here? What else do we have? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Well, Maybe food? they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head, nearly as big as the one on yours. Big that search cabinet. Only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, okay. I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Open your satchel that way. Okay, you gotta hold it, okay. Uh, canned sweet corn. Uh, eat some canned peaches. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want to split here? up. Let's go up top. What do they got up here? Ooh, what's this? Regular revolver cartridges. Sick. Nothing here. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. But I can get up there. Meet me out here when you're done. We'll do, homie. Yeah, looks good there. Anything here? Examine photograph. Okay. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Uh, a flip. Okay, where to next? Nothing. Yeah, chest right here. Let's search this thing. Ooh. Take whatever they have. Two dollars and thirty-one cents. Damn, big money. The jewelry. First the drawers. Take that. Postcards, stream cigarettes. Damn. Uh, I think we should be good. I think we took everything we needed to. Look 
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Is he in here? Sure. Uh, I thought that maybe it looks like there's like a chest here. No? Okay, so that's my current objective. Sweet. Don't need it. What have we got in here? Oh, shit. Get out of here. Knock him out. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? We have the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. What should we do with this guy? I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. Then one more time. Are you sure you don't know anything? Huh? Please. Please spare me. I promise you you won't see me again, Porter. Get the hell out of here. Go. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's let let's let him be. My hat was my hat. Pick up your oh, there it is. Come on, horsey, let's go. You let him go, huh? So I'm a little bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. We're right here. It's this horse, man. <laughs> Investigate the noise near the house. Micah, what the hell do you think you do? I got you now. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them O'Driscolls. No, she ain't, Micah. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yeah. Are you? Oh, you fool. Micah. Miss. Yeah. It is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Well, the girl needs some clothes on. Yeah, she's gonna okay, freeze up in this weather. Three days ago. And my husband. They. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. 
It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. And they killed him and then left the corpse outside in the snow just to freeze to death. Oh, maybe we should have killed that guy. Let him go, but if he's the way he was dressed, he wouldn't survive in the snow. With the horse here. Hey! Excuse me. Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Cause I'm just that Dr. cool, man. I'm that much better than you, bro. That's why I got a room and not a bunk bed. Oh, geez, that's bright. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? And on that note, I think it's time to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this for now. Stay tuned for episode 2 or, I don't know, series 2. Whenever we get to this, I'll have this up shortly. Hope you guys like this. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.